This video will give you a quick demonstration of how to use the Gold Coast Trade College Learning Management System, the College Cloud. You have all received your login details via email. Once you click on the link to College Cloud from our website, it will bring you to this page. After you have logged in, you will be now on the dashboard screen where you can see the course or the units that are available to you. You are now currently in the higher level skills orientation uh, module, working your way through. When you are required to attend the virtual classroom, you will click on the link, which will bring you to our Zoom meeting page, where you enter the meeting ID that you've been emailed on the day of the lesson. That will enable you to enter the virtual classroom for your face-to-face -face lesson with your trainer. To access the units that you will be studying throughout, you will see uh, more and more units will come available as they are ready for you to attend. In this case, we're going to demonstrate uh, a certificate four in building construction, with the first lesson being applying building codes. So if this is our first lesson for the unit, we're going to click on the start button and it will give you instructions on how to complete the unit. Introduction with a short video of what the unit is about. Section 3 will give you the learning resources that you are required for this lesson. Uh, the first is the textbook. The second is some links that you might be appropriate throughout the lesson and some short videos. We then have a set of plans. All these can be downloaded if you require to your computer by pressing the download button. And a copy of the presentation that we've given to you throughout the lesson in case you miss it or want to refer back to it at a later time. We also have a copy of the building code which you will need to use as part of your lesson. Once you click through to the assessment resources page, this is where you download your assessment tool for the lesson. So it's important here that we press download and download again and choose where we want to save it onto our computer. So save it as your name in this, leave the column for the unit code, save it as your name onto your computer and save. Once you've done that, you can then close this box, go back and open it up from where it is on your computer before you start editing it to make sure you don't lose any of your work. Once you have completed the assessment tool, we drag and drop, as uh, when you're a trainer requests you to do it, drag and drop into this box here, press next, and it will upload it to our system ready for marking. At any time, you can return back to the dashboard uh, to see the units that are available. Once your trainer has marked that you are complete for that unit, that unit will disappear from the ongoing screen and be moved into the completed screen. This will allow you to track the progress of completed units throughout your course.